just thought you would uh, like to see what I came up with uh, pretty much this motor mount if you look at it it's a centered motor mount to bolt your uh, for the rear of the motor this is for the rear and I'm ordering one for the front as you can see this one here is the diameter for 165 for a felt faker it's a lot bigger than your standard but this one's an offset engine mount and this offset engine mount you put one bolt here you could tie it from here and then the other one you have to have like an allen bolt and you, you slide it from the inside so pretty much you take this apart and you tie it from here uh, most likely for the bigger uh, bolt holes and it might work for the other one if you use like a little washer well anyway this is an offset engine mount and uh, this here let me just kind of take it apart this here I came up with because uh, I'm going to use not this front engine mount but I'm going to use this rear engine mount to make it uh, centered because actually this here uh, engine mount was never meant to be centered it's a uh, it's an engine mount to be an offset engine mount let me just slowly take this apart all right so this one goes here and then I'll leave this one here as well Basically, here, let me get a nut here. Basically, this has threads. If you look at it, you tie it down, it has threads. Well, this is a front offset. You can see how it's offset. This is a, uh, a rear offset. It's supposed to be bolted like this. If you see, it's supposed to be bolted like this. So, let me take this off. Getting that out of the way because it's kind of shiny. You pretty much slide your allen bolt here then you have threads uh, a, a longer one but you have your threads so then you screw in your threads and then you tie it up as tight as you want so you could have a rear engine mount and it's adjustable so it's pretty good so you, you bolt that uh, I have the bracket that goes here I just don't have it here but uh it's bolted like this this is the setup and then you you find the location and then you torque it down and it really doesn't go anywhere definitely when you have a solid front mount like this so that's going to throw your motor this way and that's going to throw your motor this way if you look at it you see how this is centered to this right here and that's centered to that that's how the front engine mount works and this is for uh, uh, a felt faker because some of these felt fakers are meant to run these fatter uh, back rims which I'm not going to use to run and what I came up with was a simple idea basically stack these two plates here uh, like this here and somehow make these stay for it could be centered because uh, I ordered a front CNC mount and uh, it's a centered CNC mount it's not an offset and I was looking for a CNC mount for the rear but they don't have them for the rear this is a like 125 they don't sell 125 or even rear CNC uh, motor mounts I thought they did and I looked I didn't see any um, you can see how this is even it's a triangle but this one here is a little different I went with uh, you can see it's a little different it's not just a triangle it's like a little bit less here and you have more mass I went with the one with the more mass 
I set it right about here and then now you pretty much uh, you put your piece wait I'm looking at the camera while I'm doing this. You put your piece like this, then these right here are these little mounts I made. Uh, I made this from one piece, so one's just a little longer in the spike, so I just gotta chop that out. Uh, like I said, you stack it like this. Then you slide one in all the way. Once this is in all the way, this doesn't move because it's stopping, it's flat and flush around here. So once it's tying, this is not gonna move. And then like I said, uh, then it lines up. You see how this, it lines up perfectly with this hole. So there you go, you go with this. You thread it all the way in here. Because it's threaded, I didn't want to strip the threads. I don't want to drill the threads just to make this work. I want to reuse this so whenever I decide if I want to one day run uh, 2.5 wide tires or wide tires, whatever the fault figure was meant to fit for, I can. And you can see it just slides on. If you look at it right here, it's flush. And then you just, uh, the one with the threads, I forgot which one is the threads, this right here. The ones with the threads, once you find the location you want, you torque it. So that's not going nowhere. This one right here, it's free this one could move but uh, you just put one of your nuts in here I got the one with the nylon so the vibration won't come loose and then uh, you just tie them down you know you you hold it down and you spin 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 so this thing gets tight and then on this one here you're just gonna have to use uh, a socket a little small socket there's a socket and there you go you have a, a a centered rear motor mount you can see it's centered uh, this plate is the same size as this plate here and you can see it's just pretty much one triangle this way and then one triangle that way. So it sits right on there and it's flush. There's no play at all. You can move it, there's no play. And you can see it, it doesn't look bad. Uh, there's Sharpie lines here. I, I, I painted with some Sharpie when I was doing it, but it sits flush inside here, real tight. see and you can see it, it, it's a centered rear mount so I came up with this it's pretty basic real simple and I reuse some hardware that I had because when I bought the fault faker um, I got this you throw in the deal uh, these motor mounts so now you think about it it being centered your engine now is off so it's this front motor mount is not going to work if it fits here look where the holes at and look where the holes going to be right here it's going to be completely off you know so to be centered to be about right here you're far as away apart just as far as away as here is Uh, so yeah I just got to order a front motor mount and then I'm going to use this as a rear motor mount uh, like I said small look performance they said that uh, 
the CNC aluminum case that I was going to put on my Fault Faker with the motor mounts and all that for that bike. Uh, apparently, they're back ordered, they're out of stock, and uh, I don't know how long or when he might start making them again or when he's going to restock on them or when I'll get my product. I already paid for it and I'm just waiting for that person to hurry up if I can put it on my bike because I really do want a CNC a, aluminum uh, engine case I've been wanting them since they came out uh, not specifically a Minerali I always wanted the Chinese or the I guess they call it a China doll China case motorized bike I always wanted one and then I saw there's a reed valve and I'm like well I want the reed valve one and then uh, long story short I saw that they have them for Minerallis. I really liked how my Minerali ran and I want this bike to go fast. So I was thinking going with the Minerali CNC case and <coughs> it's me fast. And also uh, these mounts, I'll take these bolts for the engine. Uh, you can see uh, it just fits in here. Uh, before you tie this up, you're gonna have to, or what I'm gonna have to tie up this plate first and then uh, install everything on it, you know. And I'll just uh, install this side on this side first, or as like in this way. So that this is the one that has threads, right? So I'm gonna tie up the one with the threads first, or this ain't the one with the threads, uh, the one with the threads is. In the bottom here so uh, I'll tie up the ones with the threads first put that on the other side of the engine where I don't have access to it and then socket wrench tying it down the other side just put a hand wrench in there and Allen wrench and I'll be good uh, like I said it's a centered rear motor mount uh, I don't know if they CNC machine these or where I could get them if I could I would have just ordered one if it was like $30 but I saved myself $30 plus I, I had some some galvanized steel pretty thick you can see all right 